Hello guys, this is Karthik from PC Solutions. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to install macOS High Sierra on a PC without Mac. So, let's start. First, you need to log on to your Windows. It can be Windows 7, 8 or 10. Go to your Chrome and paste the link of the Google Drive in your browser. Now, download the DMG from the Google Drive. So, wait for it to download. As you can see, it's downloaded on my desktop. Now, open a new fresh Chrome window and type TransMac. Now, open the website and download TransMac setup from it. As it downloads, install TransMac. And uncheck both of these. And click on finish. Now, right click on the TransMac and run TransMac as administrator. Wait for it and click on run. Now right click on your drive and click on format disk for Mac and click on yes. Type any name. I will simply type USB and click on OK and yes. Now it will take couple of seconds to complete. Click on OK. Now right click on the drive and click on restore with disk image. Click on yes and now Locate your DMG file and click on open and ok. Click on yes. So, it will take half an hour or an hour to complete depending on your drive speed. So as it completes, click on OK and close TransMap. Now you can restart your PC and we are ready to go for the installation. While performing the installation, only the hard disk in which you are going to install must be connected. So, go to your BIOS settings, go to save and exit tab, select load optimize defaults and yes. Now save and exit setup and yes. Your PC will restart. Press delete to go back to BIOS. Now go to BIOS tab. Get down to fast boot. Selected to disabled. Go to Win 8 and 10 features to other OS. LAN PXE boot option ROM to disabled. Storage boot option control. To legacy other PCI devices to UEFI now go to peripherals tab select am initial display output to PCI one slot ambient LED it's optional 
Intel PTT to disabled. Now go to SATA configuration. Select SATA mode selection and to AHCI. Go back. Go to Super I.O. Configuration and select CDL Port 1 to Disable. Now go to USB Configuration and turn XHCI Handoff to Enabled. Now go to Chipset tab, select VTD to Disabled, Internal Graphics to Auto and rest is fine. Nothing to do in Power tab. Save and exit and save and exit setup. Yes. Your PC should restart. Now insert your USB while restarting. Now press F12 to go to your boot menu. Select your UEFI USB partition. In my case, it's Sanders partition 1. First, back to options and type the following boot args. First, type slash V. Then NVDA underscore DRV equals 1 if you are installing using HDMI or NV underscore disable equals 1 if you are using VGA. Rest two are same which are kex dash dev dash mode equals 1 and rootless equals 0. Go to Boot OS X install from install Mac OS High Sierra. Hit spacebar. Now select Boot Mac OS with selected options and hit enter. It will take some time. So as you can see, I have successfully booted into the installer. Now select your language and click on the forward arrow. Now select the disk utility, click on continue. Now select the partition in which you want to install macOS High Sierra. If you don't know, which partition belongs to which hard disk you can check it by going to the view tab and select show all devices once you have confirmed your hard disk then select show only volumes select the volume in which you want to install click on erase now type any name you want Under Format tab, select APFS, click on Erase. Click on Done. And click on Install macOS, click on Continue. Now click on continue, agree the license agreement, click on agree, select your hard disk and click on install. So this will take couple of 
minutes to complete. Now your PC will restart. Go back to your boot menu and select your pen drive partition again. Now instead of selecting the pen drive, select your hard drive. Don't forget to write the boot args again. Now boot macOS with selected options. It will take some time, so be patient. So, this is just a configuration. So your PC will restart. Go back to your boot menu. Again select your sandals partition and repeat the same steps. So now the installation has started. It will take a couple of minutes or even an hour to complete so be patient. I will get back to you as it completes. So now it will restart. Follow the same steps to boot into your hard drives. And I'm telling you again, boot arcs are very important. If you forget even a single one, you will come across an error or a kernel panic. Rebuilding the cache memory, so it will take some time. As the Desmos has arrived, will boot in the Mac OS High Sierra for the first time. So select your location. Now my computer does not connect to the internet and continue. Don't transfer any information now and continue. Now agree the license agreement. Create your computer account. And click on continue. Again click on continue. And now we have successfully booted in the Mac OS High Sierra. Configure your keyboard and you are ready to go.
Thanks for watching and please see the whole series to get a working macOS High Sierra Hackintosh. So the link to the part which is creating the bootable drive and doing all the fixes of audio, graphics and ethernet is in the link in the description. So please watch it to have a fully working and functional Hackintosh. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for further videos and updates. Thanks for tuning in my channel PC Solutions. Stay tuned for further videos and updates. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any other updates from PC Solutions.